COVID-19 changes everything. The last season of this series was made in a TV studio. This one is made in a spare room. From politics to economics, there's not a part of life that seems left untouched by COVID-19. A global health crisis, a global recession, perhaps of record dimensions, is a near certainty. It's brought a whole raft of new faces to the news. We need people to take this seriously. And a whole load of new words to the national lexicon. We had an indication of how what the, the model as such was suggesting. How many cases there are that may be asymptomatic. We still don't fully understand that. We call it cocooning, and it will save many lives. Should they self-isolate? Most prominent among them... Social distancing. Is social distancing. At social distances. Take the social distancing measures. It might feel like social distancing is a practice without an end, an attempt to flatten the curve without a date for a finish, but that's not right. Epidemiologists, virologists and other public health doctors have a clear target in mind, and it's one particular number. So usually they, they refer to this as the, the or not. The or not. The or not is a value that comes at the end of a calculation. This number gives you an estimate about the number of cases on average that an infected person will cause during their infectious period. What's the, like, the, the, the number that, uh, you know, you can, number of people that you can pass on this virus to once you're infected with it? This new um, coronavirus infection has an or naught score of about 2.5, approximately. It means that one individual can infect two individuals, and then these two individuals will infect each of them, two more individuals, and then you have this kind of exponential phase of infection that you've seen regularly in diagrams presented on TVs or in the news in general. This is where we come in because how we live is factored into the or not calculation. The 2.5 figure for COVID-19 is the bit after the equal sign, but there's a few numbers that have to go in before it. And the best way I've seen them described is in a book called The Rules of Contagion by a guy called Adam Kasharsky, a mathematician at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. He says or depends on four factors. The duration of time a person is infectious, the average number of opportunities they have to spread the infection each day they're infectious, the probability an opportunity results in transmission, and the average susceptibility of the population, or DOTS, D-O-T-S for short. Of those dots, there's two that we as humans have no control over. The D for duration of time you're infectious once you get it. It's up to, it can be up to, to 14 days. And the S for how susceptible we are to it. We are all susceptible to the virus, so we can all be infected by the virus. That leaves us with O and T. The O for opportunity is an estimate for how often in a set period an infected person is likely to have close contact with another person. And the T for transmission is the value for the likelihood that during that contact, the virus will pass and infect the other person. But here's the thing, we can all bring those numbers down. We have control of them. So we can wash your hands, uh, you can uh, protect yourself and your family by staying at home as much as you can. It can get spread unknowingly from person to person. And that's why these non-pharmaceutical interventions are really, really important because we do not have any other treatment. So then that, that's why uh, social distancing, hand washing is like so, so important. It's like, you know, really like uh, scrub your hands uh, routinely, repeatedly. Um, especially if you're touching surfaces and then like really, really try to um, uh, practice uh, social distancing um, as much as you can. Of course, if the O and the T numbers are lowered in a calculation like any multiplication sum, the number after the equals is going to come down by a significant factor. And here's why that matters. If through our behaviour we can reduce the or not below one, the line which shows the disease COVID-19 growing exponentially switches direction. If we aim at reducing this R0 to one, it means then, or less than one, it means then that we can 
control the epidemics, control the growth rates, and ultimately reduce the size of the peak that is going to come soon, spread it out throughout time and having less cases together. So when you're washing your hands and staying socially distant, you're not doing it for nothing. You're not doing it in some vain hope or without an aim in mind. You're doing it for your family. You're of course doing it for the people in the health system who are risking themselves for us. You're literally helping to save lives by limiting the opportunity the disease has to transmit. And as far as the maths works, you're working to get that or not number every time falling towards one.